all right guys so welcome back to cyber community and in this video we are going to show you that how we can install nessus essential so let me start i'm going to install this in windows uh, 2019 server so let me start nessus essential download right for windows let's say now you have to go here Nessus Essential Vulnerability Scan Attainable. I'm going to click it. Okay, great. So what you have to do if you can see this page will open and it will ask for your first name, last name and business email. Uh, why they are asking for business email because they will send the activation code so I'm going to give my name sorry my bad and let's say the power okay email something I'm giving here right so let's get started great so the activation has been already sent and now they will give the link to download here if you can see uh, it is telling us to download so I'm going to click download and once I will click on that download it will going to start the downloading okay so here it is going to show you all the options see uh, whether in which version you want to uh, you know want to install whether it's Ubuntu Mac OS Amazon so whatever you if you have Kali Linux you can install in that as well so I'm going to install it for Windows I am searching for Windows where it is Okay, see this is 7, 8, comma 10 for this is only for the 32 bit, right? But we need uh, for 64 bit. So here we have for Windows Server 12, uh, 16, and 19, and 22. So I'm going to click on this and I agree. Now it has been started. Let me show you. So the size of this essential is near about having 450 MB. So definitely it is going to take the time might be I don't know what the time it is going uh, to take. It totally depends on your uh, internet speed. So if you can see my internet speed is slow just at 200 KB per second. So I'll stop the video here and again uh, once it will complete I'll continue. Alright guys, so after installing of Nessus, what we need to do, uh, we need to go on localhost colon 8834 and I hope if there is anything uh, problem while installing the you know Nessus, uh, I'm not showing that how we can install it. Uh, I believe that, that uh, the steps is very easy and uh, once you will uh, install it, that's going to be you know, uh, install in uh, maybe I think uh, uh, install within a minute and then it will take uh, maybe I think 30 to 40 minutes just for to load all the features Okay, so let's uh, uh, Yeah localhost 8834 we have to go here So in case of uh, any any doubt in installation you can just ping me and I'll help you in that on those cases Okay, let me close it Okay so once this uh, this thing will open what you have to do you have to go in policies now under the policies you have to click on create a new policy right so if you can see there is basic network scan advanced scan right these are the things uh, which we have in the nasus but you have to go in advanced scan Now in the advanced scan, you have to go in basics, 
okay let me go in the basics we are already in the basics right so we have to give the name here let's say i am giving network policy right network policy and description if you want you can give let's say uh, scanning a network right and then you have to move towards the discovery let's click on the discovery now if you can see here ping the remote host right so we don't want to ping uh, from here right so let's okay establishing connection please wait uh, there is something error it is coming might be of network issue okay come on okay let me reload this okay compiling plugins again might be uh, it is downloading something else because uh, it has been updated so this type of you know uh, things we, you will get in the starting of the installation when you will installing the nasus you will get it uh, because it will take uh, uh, much time to compile the plugins so now it is again compiling for me uh, might be there is some update or might be something there are new things uh, new plugins so it is compiling again so let's uh, let's wait for a minute and uh, we'll see after that okay now let's again log in i have choose the password admin admin great so we were there right so let's uh, uh, unping this uh, we already have the ping the remote host right so we don't want to ping we have done this now what is the next step we have to do we uh, we have to go in the port scanning and in the port scanning if you can see here verify open tcp so we need to check it great so after port scanning we need to directly go in the reports in the reports make sure that that these checks is already enabled and after checking all these things we have to go in the advanced now in the advanced make sure that this uh, this is already enabled enable safe checks right and uh, we have to also check more things like uh, uh, yeah max number of concurrent uh, sessions right so we need to enter unlimited unlimited this is a step by step process i hope you are understanding now uh, we need to go in the credentials under the credential we uh, we can see there is a windows right so here is the username and password it is asking for username and password so let's give the username as uh, uh, let's say ad1143 uh, and the password whatever uh, let's say password is qrt at the rate 123 password is this one i have entered qrt at the rate one two three i have entered this password now what i will do i will just save it okay okay name is required so network policy network policy scanning a network great and again let's check credentials everything is here right let's check in the plugins now so these are the plugins and these are the vulnerabilities it will check so let me click on save right so if you can see we already have this uh, created the network policy now what you have to do from the next time uh, this this is the one time process right now you have to scan a network so you have to go in my scans just click on that create a new scan 
right and after that let's click on the uh this is this is as per your options whether you have to click on that uh, basic uh, network scan or advanced scan right so what i am going to click on that i am going to to click on uh, network scan where it is the network scan where it is okay let's go in the user defined yeah here it is network policy right so let's click on it and in the network policy you have to here you have to give the host name uh, the target IP actually so in my case I am giving the IP of 192 uh, let's say 168 dot 0.108 this is the IP I'm giving and I'm going to click on save but right but before clicking in uh, clicking on save what you can do you can just you can see this down button click here and click on launch and it will start scanning this network policy and once it will okay meanwhile it is happening let's click on that and if you can see we do have this much vulnerabilities it will show uh, it is still running uh, let me sh again show you see uh, this is loading right so running uh, it is checking all the vulnerabilities so I'm just clicking on this just to know what are the vulnerabilities here see now there is four vulnerabilities so it will uh, keep uh, coming this this type of vulnerabilities until and unless it is completed now what you can do after that so let's say if you want to check more details about uh, uh, the vulnerability so I'm going to click just SMU multiple issues right so you can click on that again and you will you will get each and every answer what exactly it uh, it is here right so let's say the here the same thing what exactly the vulnerability is where you have to cover all those things and after doing all these things you can actually import from here here it is configuration but it will come here let me show you again uh, from here right so you have to click here and you can directly import and you can import it so I believe this lab is uh, uh, understandable and if in case of any doubts uh, just let me know you can uh, you can uh, post in the telegram group you can there is a comment section you can go in the comment and you can ask any type of uh, details whatever you think you are uh, stuck in any problem while installing while doing this lab you are most welcome uh, to uh, give your question and I will uh, give your uh, the answer of your questions